My name is Akina Kinch, and I'm the general manager of the Gavosran program from Al Nylum Pharmaceuticals. Uh, Gavosran is our investigational RNAi therapeutic in development for the treatment of acute hepatic porphyria. And we're excited to be here at EASL uh, this week, uh, where we presented results from our Envision Phase 3 study uh, with Gavosran in acute hepatic porphyria. Acute hepatic porphyria refers to a family of genetic disor disorders arising from defects in the heme biosynthesis pathway. And as a result, result of these defects, there's an accumulation of neurotoxic intermediates that are causal for all the disease manifestations. Chiefly among these are uh, serious, debilitating, and sometimes life-threatening neurovisceral attacks or crises. In addition, patients have chronic uh, symptoms and can also, over the long term, have long-term manifestations of the disease, such as hypertension, chronic kidney disease, and liver disease. So a very serious disease with very high unmet need. In addition, unfortunately, uh, acute hepatic porphyria can be difficult to diagnose, uh, mainly due to low disease awareness, uh, but also due to the fact that many of the symptoms are, are rather nonspecific. So unfortunately, many patients go through a very long diagnostic journey that can last up to 15 years. So um, we're excited to present these data and, and hopefully through these efforts um, and also the work we're doing to uh, increase disease awareness, we can uh, help alleviate this disease burden. And also, uh, very exciting that this happens to be, an easel happens to fall uh, on uh, Porphyria Awareness Week. So that's why you'll see many of us uh, wearing purple today and, and over the course of this week uh, uh, due to mark that occasion. Um, so just briefly, in terms of the trial, what we've shown, um, we've shown a very significant reduction in attacks, which was the primary endpoint of the study. So 74% uh, reduction uh, in attacks uh, on, on a mean basis and 90% reduction in terms of median uh, uh, averages. In addition, we measured a number of secondary endpoints and quality of life measures that are also quite encouraging. And again, all of this in the background of a rather encouraging safety profile uh, in the background of this very significant serious uh, illness. And we've had 93 out of 94 patients in the study who've actually continued on to the open label uh, portion of the study. So I'd say in summary, we're very excited with the results and uh, we think if approved, you know, Givosran has the opportunity to be transformative in the lives of patients living with AHP.